Hello guys, my name is Andrew Chang from Logen Solutions. In this video, I want to share with you how to create a packaging design and palette configuration by Cube Designer software. So example number one will be provided in this video, which an, which is an analysis of new ship cases to have the best vehicle configuration. So I'm going to use a fixed item of 250 by 300 by 200 millimeters and then uh, multiple ship cases of RSV Caron will be analyzed and then they will place into a 40 feet dry container. In this uh, cube design software, we have to choose the right design sequence in this screen. So I just placed the secondary pack and ship pack and vehicle load. So this means we are going to build secondary pack and ship pack and peak load setting. So at the first time, uh, you have to choose the style as a cube because this was supposed to be an uh, item. So I place the fixed size in here 250, 300, 200 millimeters. So this has a, a fixed size. And then I want to place uh, this item just a right. So I just uh, selected the vertical to height. And then uh, you can choose the color of the graphics. So I want to just make beautiful color, which is green. And then we need to go to the shoe pack. So as I told you, uh, we are going to have uh, a new, a new sizing option has been chosen. And then I want to put uh, two, minimum two and maximum 30 pieces of item in this ship case. So I just put two, two, 30. And then you may see this shoe pack will have uh, style RSV. And then I want to make um, the carbon box made of uh, DW1, which has 7.5 millimeter thickness. So you may see uh, all the dimension has been uh, outside. So, the software will determine the inside automatically uh, with considering the thickness of the carton and then uh, the style. And then uh, I'm going to change the vehicle load. So as I told you, I'm going to analyze 40 feet dry container and then I chosen and then I want to put 2000 kilometers as a weight limitation and then I want to put um, multiple patterns and then compare uh, every single different pattern so if you are ready you can uh, click the calculate button now uh, we got the result from the calculation. So you may see it tells this window, the solutions tells us uh, a lot of information. At the first time, you may see we have total 353 different solutions. And then the first one, the solution number one has been selected. So this was selected 
and then the graphics shows the current selection so it tells us mm, the item has this dimension and then the ship pack uh, the first the ship pack of the first solution gonna have this size and then this ship pack can be placed into the 40 feet dry container like this which has total 528 pieces of ship pack if you want to see more detailed information just look at the uh, list so it tells us it gonna have total 3168 um, pieces of total item when we have this configuration so if you would like to see the next solution just click it and you're gonna see the changes on the graphics and then you can uh, have uh, the sorting feature so I mean so if you sort if you click on a column head you can sort so is is it this is a uh, ascending so which shows the fewest pieces in the big load so you may see this is very poor and then if we go to the bottom you gonna see the most and then you may see we have uh, different patterns so we can choose which patterns as um, how many pieces so in this uh, window we need to compare several different solutions and we have to decide which one would be better so um, we are gonna have a more chance to change the range in the ship pack so I wanna make it narrow 20 to 30 and then I'm going to calculate again so we got fewer solutions 108 and then we have a different uh, choice and then we have a fewer number of pieces in the container so anyway um, we want to make a decision so the solution number three looks the best and then I wanna make decision by pressing this button now we have a report which shows all the packaging specification of your solution so it tells us uh, when was created who did it and then the product name and description and the secondary package which has this dimension which was provided my, by me and then the ship pack which was uh, determined by the software and then as I told you uh, the size has two dimensions outside and inside and then uh, each dimension has been calculated from the other dimension according to the thickness and uh, current style and then it tells us what was the arrangement in this packaging so it was 24 and then the graphics look like this and then we can see uh, detailed graphics and information of your vehicle which was 40 feet dry container and then it tells the loading side in, in this vehicle and then it tells more about the throat load which shows we have uh, more than 98% utilized on the length so this is the length and then you may see we have a very little uh, difference but anyway uh, the truck has been utilized 98.9% on the length and then it tells us 97% of the floor has been utilized and then when we go to the volume it shows 90% utilization and then it tells us there were two layers in, in the container 
and then the quantity per layer was 65 so it becomes 130 on um, in the total number of chip cases and then now we have total 3120 pieces of item so it tells every information we need and then 3d graphic and top view in here so uh, everything looks good and then you need to approve it so we have a stamp here and then we gonna have more options to print and save to PDF or you can export to an Excel all right and then if you go back to the overview and then um, check everything before saving your analysis and then go to the file save yes the, your changes has been saved and then you go to today you're gonna see um, the recent design uh, would have uh, your the last saving example 13 on the top so it will allow you to see at the top of the list when you come back to this to this software at the, at the late time so anyway uh, it has been completed and saved and everything has been figured out okay thank you bye bye